All right, so it is an unseasonably warm day in January. Birds are singing, and this is a great time for me to check on my beehives to see what's going on, see if they have enough food. As we can see, everybody is alive and well. They are actually flying around like it's a day in March. It's 50 degrees out here. They only huddle and cluster when it gets really cold into the 30s and below, so it's plenty warm for them to fly. Kind of relieve themselves because they don't go to the bathroom in the hives. And uh, I'm just going to make sure they have enough food in here now. So here we go. Let's see if I could do this one handed here. Okay, yeah, I didn't exactly glue this whole thing down because it's too cold for all that. But this is my little the insulated cover on the inside here. Kind of pry that guy off. Oop, killed a bee there once upon a time. Sorry, kiddo. That must have hurt. All right. This is just... Honestly, there's really no reason for that thing to even be there. Because this insulator cover provides the ventilation. All right, let's see what we have. Lid off. And... They're working on it. They're working on it. Yeah. A couple of them apparently uh, got trapped in the some of the colder parts of this thing and ended up not making it. Kind of got isolated. Your fault for being foolish, but look at how they're working on that over there. All right. So, for some reason, this hive likes sugar. Apparently more than their own honey. I didn't see the other hive going for their sugar as much, but I'm just going to replenish it. They need extra reserves. So I just kind of scoop some down here. There's another dead bee. Sorry, kiddo. But that'll keep them happy and fed. And I just want them to get their carbs until spring. Once the actual spring flowers start coming out, they'll start working on those guys again, and I might have to start giving them a little extra syrup, but for this, that's pretty decent. They had eaten this whole thing up by Thanksgiving, because November was crazy cold. All right, kids. All right, let's get this thing back on. No squishing bees, if I could at all help it. Yep, there we go. There we are, and that is on. And we will work on the other hive now. Okay, this is the other hive, and likewise, they've been working on it. See, one good thing, you notice the paper is kind of moist. The sugar actually helps collect excessive moisture in the hive and it turned my powder sugar into a pretty tight candy, rock hard candy, and the paper absorbs them. So that is keeping them from getting over, say, moisturized because dampness, if it starts collecting in there, that'll just outright kill the bees. So very good thing to have done this. It's collected that, so I'm gonna give them a little more sugar and call it a day, but hey kids, here's the spring. I ordered some new queens for you. We'll see how that goes.